life is just full of dreams. We dreamed for a long time about flying over the clouds, about flying the clouds, about walking on the clouds. But we need magic to do that. And that magic is actually inside us. For a long time we tried to fly. We thought if we can be like birds, we can have wings, we would be able to do it. We tried and failed. But it was just a dream for us until someone, somewhere was able to do it. Someone got that magic, that determination, that dream inside them to make it happen. This is life. But what is reality? Are we actually looking at reality and accepting reality as it is? Are you accepting your reality? Do you like your reality? What is reality for you? Is it the life that you are living? Is reality slow for you? Is it cold? Or do you believe that you can change your own reality? You can do something different. You can make a change. Have you heard of this story when there was a lion who was living in the forest between sheep? He lived with them for a long time. He believed that he was one of them. He was going and eating grass with them. He was walking around and jumping with them. And on one day, the jungle lion jump at his sheep trying to eat one of them and he found this lion and he took him around he told him what happening to you why are you playing with this sheep why are you a sheep and the lion looked at him and he said i'm just a sheep this is who i am and he told him no you are not you are something different and he said how can i know so he took him aside to the lake and he told him look look at yourself look at who you are Look at their reality. And once he looked at the lake, and he saw his actual picture, and he looked back at the jungle lion, and he said, wow, I'm not a sheep, I'm a lion. But I didn't discover that before, because I thought, because I believed I'm sheep. And now everything changed. My perspective changed, my reality is different. And this is what we need to think about when we are thinking about our reality. Whatever you see, whatever you believe will be. This is who you, you are. There's a really nice story about a rich dad who decided to take his kid to the country to show him how poor people are living in that country. He took him for a couple of weeks and after that when they came back he asked, the, the kid. How was it? How was your trip? The kid said it was wonderful. He told him, tell me, what did you le learn from these poor people? He said, well, I learned a lot. I learned that we have one dog and they have four. I learned that we are just having this swimming pool in our garden, but they have the whole lake for them to swim in. I learned that we just have these imported lights to light our nights, but they have the stars to light all their nights. I learned that what they have is just what the food they grow, but actually we buy our food. We have these walls to protect us, but actually they have their friends and family to protect them. Thank you, Dad. Thank you for taking me there. And the, guy, and the dad looked at him surprised. He said, why? He said, because by taking me there, I learned how poor we are. So what is your reality? What is your perspective? How do you see things? Do you believe in the things that you see or do you create your own reality? Do you understand that the world is based on what you do with your touch, 
your magical touch with, uh, with the world will change the world, will make it different. Your interaction, your perspective, your ideas, your beliefs will make the world better, will change the world. Because reality is what? Reality is nothing more than a perspective. What do you see? You see a picture. A picture for what? You see a picture for a tree. If you look at the winter, you see it differently than if you look at it in, in the summer. But it's the same tree. It's the same thing that we look at. But with different season, with different environment, with different environment, everything is different. And this is what we need to understand about life. Everything can be different. Everything can change. But we can do it. Think about the color. When you see the red color, the blue color, the orange color, are they really orange and blue? You see them this way. What about other animals? What about other creatures? They see them differently. So what is the actual reality? What is the color of that flower that you are looking at? We don't know. We just see it the way that we want to see it. The way that our eyes will allow us to see it. So if we change how we see it, the flower maybe will change. The color maybe will change for that flower. Reality is a question of perspective. It's all about how you are thinking about the world. It's all about this window that you have. There is a really nice story about two men who were sick in the hospital. And they are in one room with just one window. So the first guy was sitting next to the window and the other guy was sitting far away from the window. And the first guy was always speaking with the other guy about life, about family, about everything. And he was describing to him how amazing the view from that window. He was telling him about all these birds flying, about all these kids playing, about how lovers are walking around the lake. He was telling him about the skyline. And he was describing how amazing to see that from that window. The other sick man, not, he got nothing other than closing his eyes and dreaming about that. Imagining the amazing life outside that room. After weeks and weeks of this amazing, amazing imagination, the first man died peacefully. And the second guy asked the nurse, can I really move to that uh, uh, that uh, uh, bed next to the window she said fine and when he moved the first thing he wanted to do is to jump on that window and see that view he was in so much pain but he was able to make it and look from that window and what he saw it was nothing it was just a brick wall there was nothing at all and he was surprised and he asked the nurse what happened please tell me why that man was looking at something else and she told him, well, that man was actually blind. He can't see. But he wanted you to be happy. Even he can't see, he wanted you to see how amazing life can be outside this room. And this is what we do in our life. Even if we can achieve whatever we want to achieve, even if our reality is not the way that we want it, we can change reality. We can alter our perspective and make us and other people live in whatever reality we want to create. It's only about the concept that we have in our mind that will allow us to create reality. It's what we believe in. If we believe we can do it, if we believe that we can make it with a touch of magic, we will be able to do it. It's all based on our beliefs. There's a very nice story about two seeds. They were in the spring soil and one seed said, I want to grow. I want to put my roots in the ground. I want to see the sun. I want to touch the air. And the seed was able to do it. And it was after that a very nice tree. But the second seed said, oh, no, no, it's not the right time for me right now. Let me wait until the ground is wet so I can put my roots easily. Let me wait until the sun is up so I can touch the sun and see the air. So the other seed waited and waited. And just a chicken passing by went and saw that seed and ate it. 
This is what happened in life. What is holding you back? What's stopping you from doing your dream? Is it fear? Are you afraid that maybe you will not be able to do it? Are you afraid that something may gonna happen? Well, if you are afraid all your life, you are not gonna live your life. You are gonna be dead or waiting for something to happen to you. You need to take control out of your life. You need to understand that what you have in life is only an emotion, a thought. Life is full of emotion and thought that are controlling what we do, how we feel. And ideas are very dangerous. Why they are dangerous? Because they are like viruses. Once they are inside you, they can change you. They can make you a different person. They can make something different out of you and you are never back again like you were. We need to understand that we don't need to be waiting for perfectionists. We don't need to be perfect to live in the world. We need to accept the world as it is. We need to accept ourselves as we are. There is a very nice story of a guy. After 30 years of trying to find someone to marry, he couldn't find someone. And his friend asked him, what happened? He said, well, I was trying to find the perfect lady. He said, and? He said, well, I went to Egypt and I found an amazing lady. She's beautiful. She's handsome. She's great. But she's not kind. So I didn't like her. And after that, I went to Lebanon and I found another lady. She's sweet. She's kind. She's amazing. But she's not beautiful enough. So I left her. And after that, I went to Jordan and I found an amazing lady there. She was kind, beautiful and lovely and I fall in love with her. And he said, so did you marry her? He said, no. And he said, why? He said, because I asked her to marry me and she said she was looking for the perfect man. So we need to understand that when we are trying to look for life, when we are trying to dream, when we are trying to accomplish things, it's not about doing it perfectly. It's just about putting our heart in it. It's about understanding that what we need to look for is the start, is the hope. And after that, we need to look at life as it is and accept it as it is. It changes if we don't like it, but not wait. There is a very nice story of a man who decided to change the world. The story started with a king, and this king decided to put this rock in the way, in the road, in one of the cities, to see how people are going to react to that rock. Some people, they pass by the rock and they say, how come we have a rock in our road? What the king is doing? Why he is not sending someone to clean our roads? They blame the kings. Other people, they just pass around it and they say, why not someone go and take this rock out of our way so we can use the road? And other people, they just ignore the rock. But one guy, a farmer, he was just taking his vegetables to the market. He noticed that rock and he said, should I move that rock? He said, why not? It's blocking my way. I'm not just going to ignore it and go from another road. I'm just going to move it. It was very difficult for him. It took him hours to just move that rock. But once he moved that rock, he discovered that there was a lot of gold under that rock that the king put there. And he took that gold. And this is life. Life is putting obstacles in front of you, challenges for you to overcome so you can gain the reward out of it. Are you ignoring, running away from these challenges? Or are you welcoming these challenges with open heart, with determination, so you'll be able to move to the next level?
सर आपके लिए उस पार कार का इंतजाम किया है सर आइए सर एक कल तक और चलो पकड़ के चलो पलक पकड़ के उठो और हवा पकड़ के चलो पलक पकड़ के उठो और हवा पकड़ के चलो तुम चलो तो हिंदुस्तान चले तुम चलो This is what we need. We need someone to start the process. We need someone to have that magical touch to change the world. Because what we need to understand that it's only with beliefs we can alter the reality. We can change reality. Life is waiting for you, for your magical touch. There is a very nice story of a kid who was in the street for days not eating, hungry. And he just found this coin. And he was very happy and excited because he wanted to go and eat. He took the coin and he went to the uh, supermarket. He looked at that amazing fresh bread. He can smell that bread. And next to that bread, there was a very nice flower. A wonderful flower. So he told the lady there, please, I would like to buy the flour rather than the bread. And the lady looked at him and she said, you are hungry, you need the bread. Why are you buying the flour? Because he, and he said something very simple. He said, because bread is something that I need, something that I need to live on. But flour is something that I can live for. Something that will make me live, inspire me. So are you spending your life living on something or living for something? What are your dreams? We dream about the moon. We dream about touching the moon. We always have so many ideas with the moon. It's the light of our sky. But what is the moon actually? It's just a rock in the sky. Who cares? But we changed that. We made the moon a symbol of love. You can do that with your life. Wherever your life is, you can change it. And you can create something out of it. But you need to remember, life is all about how you spend it. It's not about what you gain from it, it's how you spend it. There is a very nice story about a dad who was coming late from work, tired, and his kid came to him and he said, Dad, Dad, I, I just have a question. And the dad asked, what, are, what is your question? And the kid said, I just want to know how much you earn for one hour of work. And the dad looked at him and he said, why? He said, just tell me. He said, well, it's $50. He said, okay, Dad, can, you, can I get $25? And the dad looked at him. 
You are asking me that so you can get some money? Go to your room. So the kid went to his room. After a while, the dad was feeling bad. He went to that kid's room and he said, what are you doing? And the kid was just calculating all this money that he saved for uh, many uh, weeks. And the dad asked him, so you, are, you have all this money and now you are asking me for more money? And he said, please, please, dad, yes, give me 25. So the dad said, okay, here's 25. So the kid took the 25, counted the rest of the money, and he gave them to his dad. And he said, dad, this is the $50. Can you come one hour early tomorrow? Because I need you. Remember, life is not about achieving success. It's not about achieving your dreams. It's about connecting with other people. It's about sharing. Because this is what life is all about. Life is all about love. And it's about happiness. But you need to understand that happiness comes from inside, not from outside. Happiness is all about you. It's not about the world. There is a very nice story for a very old lady. She was 93 and her husband died. And they took her to a nursery room. And before entering the room, the lady told her, just wait for five minutes. The room will be ready. And while the nurse is taking her to the room, the lady told the nurse, my room is amazing. It's wonderful. And the nurse, she told her, wait, wait, you didn't see the room yet. She said, I know that because I believe in it. Do you believe that your world is wonderful before you see it? Or do you wait until you actually see it? Life is like a coin. Decide how you are going to spend it. And on what. Are you living on HD mode? Or on normal mode? What's HD? It's not high definition. It's heart and determination. Do you have that fire inside you? That's making you live? And do you have that petro? That energy, that power, that's making the fire alive all the time. Because it's all about what you have inside you. It's all about that fire that's going to burn you. So you can light the way for other people. But you need to be careful not to burn yourself or burn others with it. And you need to understand that that fire, that flame, is a way for you to touch other people. To help them in lighting their flame, in lighting their fire. Because life is what? Life is just what? And we can change that perspective. It's always about your dreams. It's about what you have inside you that you want to bring to the world. Because without dreams, Life is worthless.